The Austin serial bomber blew himself up on Wednesday morning as police were closing in on his location. Welcome back to What's Trending, I'm Martine Bierman. Make sure to subscribe for more social media and trending stories daily. Mark Anthony Condit, the 24-year-old who police believed was the man setting off bombs in packages around the city of Austin, detonated an explosive in his car as he was about to be apprehended. Police say it was the exotic batteries ordered from Asia that led investigators to Condit so quickly. They also used cell site analysis to determine which individuals were in the areas of each bombing as they occurred. And they had some help from this security video from FedEx where Condit dropped off a package wearing a blonde wig and hat. Condit was traced to a Red Roof Inn in Round Rock, Texas. Before backup could arrive, Condit left the inn and led police on a brief chase before he pulled off to the side of the road on Interstate 35 and blew himself up. So who was Mark Condit? And why did he terrorize the Austin area with multiple bombs for around a month? It's probably gonna be a long time before we know his motivation, but here's what we know right now. Mark Condit grew up in Pflugerville, Texas, was homeschooled and attended some classes at Austin Community College in the early 2010s. His mother, Deneen Condit, posted on Facebook in 2013. I officially graduated Mark from high school on Friday. He has 30 hours of college credit too, but he's thinking of taking some time to figure out what he wants to do. Maybe a mission trip. He also had a blog that was updated between February and May of 2012 called Defining My Stance. Mark would have been about 17 when these blog posts were posted, but it's still interesting to see what he was talking about. In his bio, he said, I'm not that politically inclined. I view myself as conservative, but I don't think I have enough information to defend my stance as well as it should be defended. The last post on his blog is, why gay marriages should be illegal. And it says, homosexuality is not natural. Just look at the male and female bodies. They're obviously designed to couple. Condit wrote these posts for an Austin Community College class on US government. Neighbors say Condit's parents were involved in a multi-level marketing business and his father ran an online computer business. Condit no longer lived at home. He had a house with two roommates in Pflugerville, about 20 miles north of Austin. At this time, both of his roommates and his parents are cooperating with authorities. Though Condit was white and a conservative, it's not yet clear if he fits the profile of other recent domestic terrorists who were motivated by white supremacy and nationalism. What do you make of Condit? Do you have any ideas as far as his motivation behind all of this? Let us know in the comments, and for more trends, head to whatstrending.com.